everybody. I've got something uh, that many of you have, may have never seen. Uh, you may have never seen some of you southern guys or uh, some of you have never heard of snow snakes. Uh, the game of snow snake. Uh, it's a game uh, Native Americans have been playing. Uh, well, there's records of it. They're playing at least back to the 1600s. There's records uh, of uh, when the first Europeans arrived, um, them writing about the game of Snow Snake. Now, it might go back even further than that. I don't know. Um, the object of Snow Snake, uh, the game of Snow Snake, is to throw your wooden snake the farthest distance uh, on a frozen... Uh, trough of snow um, that's the best way I could describe it and there's different techniques there's different style snow snakes um, these here uh, one of them is 79 inches and the other one is 84 inches they both have different weighted tips to them uh, this one here appears to me to be possibly hickory, maybe maple. And upon uh, looking at this closer, I'm thinking that this is cherry, but I can't say for certain. It may just be the age and it's darkened with age. Um, and these appear to be made similar to the way uh, a self bow is made. Uh, and a self-bow, uh, you have to follow the grain of the wood for strength. Uh, and these seem to be made very similar. The tips are larger than the, the tail. They're heavier. Of course, they got these uh, pewter, pewter uh, tips on them. And there's like a, oh, a bulb to the, to the tip uh, on both of these. On... The opposite end, it's tapered, and there's a little finger groove in here. So uh, I came across these. The fella that had these had no idea what he had. Uh, he thought they were javelins, you know, uh, and at the time, I wasn't 100% certain, but now I am certain that these are snow snakes. Um, and... Uh, I picked them up. Uh, I'm very fortunate to have found these. I'm going to do a little more research on these. Uh, I'm going to stop down at the Seneca Museum and see if, uh, if they know something about them and perhaps they could uh, uh, give me some more information. The fella that I bought these from said that he picked them up in Salamanca, uh, which leads me to believe that they're possibly uh, made uh, by a Seneca, but I'm not sure of that. From what I've learned, uh, not only was uh, there are different um, thought processes behind the construction of their snow snake and uh, different theories, I guess, probably on uh, what uh, would slide the furthest, what would go the furthest, but from what I understand, they also had uh, developed different waxes. Everybody kind of had their own <laughs> secret sauce there in the wax, and, uh, and that helped it, uh, the snake slide along on the, uh, the ice. So um, I, I'm very impressed with whoever did make these. They're, uh, they're really beautiful. I'm, I'm, I'm taken back by them. Um, also, from what I understand, uh, it was common to mark your snow snake in some fashion, perhaps uh, uh, like you would an arrow, maybe uh, some, some sort of cresting or, or possibly your name or whatever. But these two here, I cannot find any, any markings on them. So uh, here are some close-up pictures of the snow snakes and uh, I hope you find this of interest and I
And uh, until next time, everybody, take care. Thanks for watching.